Guys, Sonic 1245 here and Minecraft Nerd 2233. So, welcome back to the next episode of Let's Talk About That. So, we have not done this forever. It's been a while. It's well, been like five months. I think it's been, I think November was the last time. A couple months. We, do you remember even what we talked about last time? I think it was Helen of a Boss. And nope. Had, no, has, has been no time. Nope. I don't remember. Online shopping. Oh. That was like the first video we did. No, the first one was Power. Uh, power. So, we are going to be talking about something that I don't do very much. We're talking about television. <laughs> now, I don't watch television. I don't watch TV very often. I do. Yes, you do. I only watch television literally almost every Saturday. Saturday morning is the only time I actually watch TV. Well, actually, it's on Friday nights, but you... I wait, work Friday. He, he, he waits to watch it in the morning because normally he has weekends off. Sometimes. <clears throat> Except me. I work most of the weekends. Yeah, whenever I work, he doesn't. And whenever he works, I don't. I've talked about this in the Let's Play Batman, uh, Lego Batman. I talk about it there. Mm -hmm. um, so, television for me, um, I stopped watching... Gosh. Are you about like 10 or something? No, it's been a while. I haven't watched TV in probably over 11 years. I, mm. wa I used to watch television all the time, but now that there's there's no good shows. The only thing that I watch on television is recorded of uh, RuPaul's Drag Race, and that's pretty much almost Tell every Saturday. Tell me you started watching Mariah Carey's Ladybug. Mm. Tell me you started watching that. That's kind, of when I, that's kind of when I stopped watching television, because, of course, all of my favorite Disney Channel shows were gone. And uh -huh. there, was no, there was nothing good on it anymore. Also, like Cartoon Network, they took off Teen Titans and all the other good that was, stuff. That was, delete, that was done before you probably were even born. Or yeah, but then they two. started putting it back on when Teen Titans Go became a thing, when cool. that was ending. Then they started um, playing uh, the episodes after one of the episodes, and they started putting on Teen Titans again. Yeah. But yeah, I... Oh gosh, I... Oh gosh... Let's see, so literally Disney was the very first channel that I would watch constantly. Mm -hmm. um, of course, I think Kim Possible was probably the number one thing I watched the most. The number one thing that I watched the most was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and that was made in 2012. Let's... That's the thing I haven't stopped watching, and I still watch it to this day because I have the full series on DVD. Well, actually, one thing actually that I did watch when I was really, really young actually was um, the animated um, show Buzz Lightyear Star Command. That was like a big thing when I was a kid. And my mom actually, there was a marathon going on one night. It was a, uh, one day, it was a Friday. My mom was off work. So my dad set up the VCR and she recorded it. I only have one VCR, and it was like all of them in order. And yeah, yeah wow, that show, that show was good. But no was... one knew how to program that clock. You had to be a rocket science to figure that out, so it always flashed 12. I don't know what you're talking about. The VCR clock? That's not that. There was always a VCR clock. No, you're thinking of the cable box. Cable box has that. Oh, that's the old cable box. That always flashed 12. You'd have to be a rocket science to figure that out. Speaking of a cable box, I don't know if I... Do you remember the one day that you guys were gone, Mom, Car... I don't know where Carson was. You were with Mom, and she was shopping, and the TV remote for upstairs, this is back when we lived, that before we even moved up to Rhinelander, mm -hmm. that house. Yep. Mom had the remote in her purse, so I had to go... <laughs> make, I, I had to go to the cable box and manually change it. Oh, and she told me to get her wallet out of her purse or her phone. I just saw the remote in there, and then I told her on the way... Like, we were already parked up in our... She asked for her phone. I gave her her phone. I'm like, Mom, you know you got the remote in your purse, right? So I had to change it. But By hand, and that is really hard. Not really. I figured it out pretty well. It, I, I can't figure that out. Well, yeah, because you don't need to. I figured it out. We got remote. Took me about three minutes to figure out how to work it. <laughs> but, um, oh gosh, what did I watch as a kid? Why did they call it VCR, even though it had a clock on it? It so, never did. Some VCRs did. No. Carson actually has a VCR slash DVD player in his room. Yeah, those are old, actually. I doubt it works. Oh, yeah, it still works. Carson says it does, but I don't know. But we can't rewind anything. Well, we have to, but we have to have it on the screen to rewind because when it rewinds, it sounds like it's about to literally burst into flames. Do you know if you watch Jaws backwards, it's a rare touching story of a shark giving three legs to a guy. 
It's very touching. All right, let's see. So I watched. Oh gosh. Mostly it was Disney stuff. So Kim Possible, Hannah Montana. Um, I don't even think you know how we actually started watching SpongeBob. I don't think you ever knew that. No. So um, a babysitter of ours. That's Nickelodeon though. Yeah, I know. So um, I can say her name and her. And her, and her kids. So Cynthia, apparently a woman of ours who was friends with my mom, she babysat us for a year and she had a daughter and a son and I think a niece. Um, the daughter was Ashley and the um, son was Alex. I Alex was, any of this. Well, yeah, because you were young. I was like a baby, maybe. Alex was um, a huge Star Wars fan. He liked Star Wars, too. Who doesn't love Star Wars? He would, they would be over literally while we're still sleeping. They would come at like 6 in the morning and we wouldn't wake them until like later because it was literally the middle of summer. It was all summer. Then we had Emma and then we had June. June, you were a little older. And Emma, you were like three, possibly. I think when we had the first one, I was probably a baby. Yeah. So um, how we actually were watching Spongebob is actually Alex showed us what Spongebob was. Who's Alex? The Cynthia's um, son. And it's weird because actually, did you know that Spongebob actually came out in 1997? When the year I was born, Spongebob started. I knew. Don't remember. Well, yeah, because I didn't know, but I found that out. Spongebob actually is a good show, but no, like, no one watches it anymore. Well, really. because nothing is as good as it was back then. No. The first season is... After they made Spongebob Long Pants... Where he actually has long pants in one episode, that's when it ended. What about Spongebob brown pants? Do you remember that one? Yeah, that that was still good, but when they made Spongebob long pants, the episode where he has long pants, that's when Spongebob just stopped becoming interesting. Fairly Odd Parents. Oh, yeah, Fairly Odd Parents. I remember that. I gave up on Spongebob after um, the, the Wild West episode, the Idiot Friends one. That one mm -hmm. was so stupid. I watched Fairly Odd Parents for like a year and then oh, stopped. I like. Did. Seriously, I, I I find it interesting, but the thing is, after they made the real life action movies, yeah, that's kind of where everyone stopped. That's where everyone like stopped watching it after that. Well, the funny thing is, actually, Poof the baby was mm -hmm. actually in the TV show when they made the first movie, and then they added them. Did then you... the second movie, then Poof became in the second or third movie. Have you started? Did you see about Paramount Plus that that new Fairly Odd show? Yeah, I did. I don't want to even give. Did it you the... Did you see something about? It's all real life action. Did you see the Blues Clues thing? The rebooting that again. This will be the fourth time. No, the Blue's Clues real life movie, Blue Meets the World. And and Blue's Clues is a girl, not... He's a boy. Yeah, Blue's a boy. Yeah, but in the movie, he's a girl. No. It's not supposed to be like that. Blue is a boy. Because they always boy. said, she meets the world. I'm like... Blue's a boy. Blue's a boy, not a girl. People... Well, actually, no, they never they never gave Blue a gender. And yeah, they actually never have. Um, Magenta, she was a girl, though. They always said Magenta was a girl. Mm-hmm. Although, literally, Blue's Clues has been rebooted three different times. Yeah. Well, twice, to well, be honest, because Steve, then Josh, and then this other random person. Uh, I think G Steve and Josh were cousins, I think. Right? Yes, they were. Yeah, they were actual biological cousins. And, well, no, in the show. In the show, they were biological And then, cousins. um, Steve, he went off to college. Yep. And that's when Josh took over. That's when Josh took over. And do you actually know... Did you ever see that episode before before Steve left? Mm -hmm. What was what what was the answer to the clues that Blue left? What did he what did Blue want Steve to take to college? God, wasn't it his notepad? It was a cell phone. It was a it was a phone, so they could call, so he yeah. could call. Yeah, it's very. I, re weird. I remember the notepad that looked like a chair. A chair. Yeah, the the handy dandy notebook. I think it was called. And and actually. They actually changed shirts. First it was blue. No, it was always green. It was... Oh. Steve was always green. Josh was orange. And then the was, other... Wasn't really red after the, that? No, the newest one was blue. Okay. It was green, orange, then blue. And if you noticed, when he wrote right in the handy dandy notebook, the crayon that he used is the color of the shirt. Yeah. Okay, That's so let's see. What else, what else did we watch? Um, I watched a lot of Cartoon Network. Mm -hmm. Um... Um, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Do you mm -hmm. remember that show? Yep. That one was good. Oh, what else did I watch? I watched a lot of weird stuff, too. I believe when I started watching Cartoon Network, it was normally Lego Ninjago. I actually remember watching Teen Titans. Uh -huh. Like, when it was still on the air. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Oh gosh. Do you remember the very first Nickelodeon like big episode you watched? Mm -hmm. What was it? Do you know? Like the big episode? Yeah, like a big one. Something that was more than a half an hour. Or... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I know what mine was. They put it in two parts. Freak the Freak Out from Victorious. That was a big one. Because they put Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Rise. They turned that into two episodes. <gasps> oh. Like part one and part two. So that was like the most big thing in 2012. What was the very first Disney Channel original movie you ever saw? Disney Channel original movie? Yeah. So a movie that apparently, I know, um, the very first one that Car Carson and I were freaking out about. Wasn't that High School Musical too? Yes. Yeah, that's the first We movie were um, freaking out that entire day. Literally, we, we, we had the TV on. Of course, we weren't watching it. We were just listening and we were just getting so hyped and that movie was amazing. Okay, so I believe the... First video, the first uh, Disney Channel movie that I can remember. Original movie. Original movie that I can remember would have to be, uh, Descendants Two. Yeah. That's the one that I can remember. Yeah, but we, the one we watched that together. Yeah. Oh, um, we were really excited for Descendants Three. Yeah, like we were. Re I, we, we. And if you never seen it, watch it. Watch one and look at the fire when Maleficent is floating, and then watch Hades in the third one. You'll you'll see what we're talking about. Yeah, a lot of people were wondering if it was Hades, but did you know that there were actually other people who thought it was different people? Yeah. They thought it was Captain Hook because of the mustache. A lot of people thought that, and a lot of people thought it was actually um, the bear from um, Brave. They thought that was a dad. Mm -hmm. But no, Mal's, da Mal's dad is the Hades. The bear from Brave wasn't a dad. It wasn't her dad. Well, uh, that's what people thought. No, it wasn't. Because that flash, when she's in the forest, and actually, funny thing is, actually, that actually came out, um, that was actually over a commercial during Zombies. Mm hmm Which you haven't seen Zombies 3. I've seen 1 and 2. Yeah. Zombies, I don't know why. They did Zombies, Werewolves, and then Aliens. Why? No. I love Do It Like the Zombies Do it. Oh my gosh, guess what happened? What? So, of course, after the third movie, more people came. Guess what was next? What? Mermaids. <laughs> then vampires. I'm like, hello? Zombies? Werewolves? It should be vampires. Oh, I, 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 I remember the first Disney Channel, the Disney movie I have watched on TV. What? Okay, so when they made Pirates of the Caribbean, they did that on Disney Channel till they released the movies. Because that is Disney. Yeah, it's Disney, but it's Walt. It's Walt Disney. There's a difference. Yes, but that was on Disney Channel for the first time, and that's when. And the second movie is when I first watched my first Disney movie, original Disney movie. That's not an original Disney Channel movie. Well, it was on Disney Channel. Yeah, but it wasn't. It's not made by them. It's not the Disney Channel thing. I think it still counts. No, it's not. It's not a Disney Channel original movie. That's different. Let's see, they have High School Musical 1 through 3, and Descendants 1 through 3. Kenny Ortega directed all of them. Yep. And Jamal Sims, he did the third, he um, made up the dances for the third, and he actually works with RuPaul at the time. What was the last show that you have watched that was... Like, what is the last show that you ever watched? I have no clue. I haven't watched TV for so long. Because... When YouTube became... A th when I started watching YouTube, I found out I didn't watch anything but that. I believe the last show that I started watching that i never seen before would have to be Wednesday Addams. That's a Netflix thing. It's not a show. It's not on TV. That's a streaming service. Yeah. But that would count. No, mm. it doesn't. Because it's not on TV. has never Three been. Seven. Although I heard they're not making another season. Yeah, they are. No, they aren't. They said they will. They, it, it, no. Because Wednesday didn't do well. Lots of people love If it, it is going to happen, it's not going to be on Netflix. It's going to be on HBO Max. And they said Prime Video, too. Mm, no. Only HBO Max. So, yeah. We're down to 30 seconds. So, down below there is a link to my channel, his channel, and also my ex's channel. So, go subscribe to him, subscribe to my ex. Also, down below is um, my Twitter, my Instagram, your TikTok, 
mixes TikTok and also mixes um Instagram account. He finally I talked to him and he finally got put more videos up. Thank God he put up one today and one yesterday. So yeah. Alright, so we will see you guys for the next episode. Um we are gonna find out what that is. So you'll just have to see um two weeks from now. Yeah. And we will actually be on his channel, actually in his room. So we you see s my room for the first time. Yeah, so we will see you guys then. And until that time, now back to this bitch that had a lot to say about me the other day and the price to YouTube. What's good?